are at the gate of uh, Pioneer DuPont in Waialua, where a uh, flash meditation is taking place. Pioneer Hybrid GMO 3,000, uh, more than 3,000 acres. DuPont, of course, a chemical company, sells so insecticides, pesticides. Behind this gate also, um, other farms aside from DuPont, right? so Some family farms. There's some family farms. Protesting GMOs! You got, you got, and two bullhorns. That's pretty cool. Two bullhorns, ready for the occasion. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's great, man. That's a new one, right? Yeah, brand new. As of, as of yesterday. Even this morning, finished it up. Great aesthetic and text content. Yeah, Four man good. content, both. Well, thank you. Cool. Got the whole, the whole. Uh, and you got like two bullhorns. And the flag. That's the whole thing. Oh, here's another truck. 
I think the ones going fast are uh, GMO guy. That, that wasn't Cindy uh, Goldstein. I would keep calling her Cindy Frankenstein. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to get that much. This uh, demo is scheduled uh, for the whole afternoon, uh, so I expect people to come and go. A lot of uh, police here out in the open and down the block. Uh, the Aloha police went to the Aloha streets. In fact, the same guys that come down to uh, Thomas Square wanted to show you this line, painted the line. They let us past the line, but they did draw the line. As you can see, this is where the protesters must stay behind for the duration. Looks like they're not being that careful about it. So I think we can uh, traverse this area with our signs. all the way across. I'm going to try and piggyback on an interview. There are certain issues about this. your concern? Well, you see, I'm in a travel industry, right? And if the world got to know about Agent Orange is on the fields, and Agent Orange is in our air, and Agent Orange is in our drinking water, the tourist must gonna die. Nobody comes to Hawaii because they don't want to die. And if the tourist industry dies, that's 60% of our income, we all will die. Is that what they're spraying here, Agent Orange? part of the whole thing. Yeah, you want to see it. It's, it's uh, been produced by Manzana in the Roundup, and as part of it is Agent Orange, and that was a spray in here. You want to die? Your children going to have crooked arms? That's how it happened in the 70s and Vietnam. And then the funniest thing is Montana and the cafeteria in England, they refuse to eat GMO food. The employees of those bastards don't eat it. And they're telling us that it's good for them. It's so good they don't have to go fighting the label issue in California. They just say, hey, that's the best thing after sliced bread. Everybody will agree with them. But nobody does. And what do you do in the tourist area? Well, I'm a, tra I'm a travel agent. I can involved. Okay, good. Thank you. Thanks. I'm piggybacking on his interviews. <laughs> He's doing radio. I'm doing live, uh, live internet. That's a high content one. 
No Monsanto officials in the USDA and FDA, conflict of interest, because it's true there's a whole list of uh, people that went between Monsanto and the federal government, including FDA, and here's a whole list of them, including the, the big one now, Michael Taylor, who's FDA commissioner and who was vice president of Monsanto public policy. I mean, you know, that's absurd. What do you, what do you have to, what's your comment on this? Well, my comment on, on the GMOs in, in particular of Hawaii has to do with the fact they shouldn't be taking up the land over here, never mind the fact that they're polluting it while they're here. Hawaiians need, in order for general safety on this island, Hawaiians need to be closer and closer to self-sufficiency. When seed companies that just take their products and sell them uh, off-island are taking up the land, uh, the best farmland on the island, that's not good for Hawaiians. Thank you. There's Matt. Got some cakey here too. And here's a mic with this incredible aerial photograph of the area. I'll show you where we are right now, uh -huh. which is right here. And that's the road, I guess, that's going in. And let me back up, and everything in it, in red is uh, DuPont Pioneer Land. And there's GMO Giant. You can also see the high school in blue, and all the GMO fields right around The high school in, in blue, yep. and all the GMO fields around it. And in, you can see residential areas adjoining the uh, red um, um, boundary of the um, Pioneer field. That's really amazing. If, if you wanted to see this photo, I mean, if you wanted to download it, you can get it now. Is there an easy way um, to well, express this is a big the... resolution picture. Yeah. So I'd have to email it to you if you want the full resolution. If you're okay with the slightly lower resolution, yeah. you can go to my Flickr page, which is Aloha Namaste Activist. Aloha Namaste Activist on Flickr, yeah? Flickr. Okay, great. And also YouTube. <laughs> and also YouTube. Same uh, Aloha Namaste Not much on it yet, Activist. But Great, great. This is really good. I saw, you know, I, I saw the lower high resolution one, so I, I definitely want you to email me, the, and I'll email you. I think Warren's gonna forward it to you. Great. That's just, it's so revealing, and, and once people can see the extent of this, and and you know, there's a there's an area here with their residences right across that border. Yeah. I mean, these residences over here. Green. Yeah, local. I residents. spoke to them and they were really being affected by it. I mean, there's health being affected in all of these um, homes, but really, especially in this community, which is right next to their fields here. And this is their corn, seed corn processing. Process. I see or that. Corn, very, corn seed processing that's right plant. next to the school right, which is, and the residence. Yeah, exactly. That's right and next to us. We're we're very close to mm -hmm. that right now. And the question I want to ask is, where are the chemicals stored? Where are the chemicals stored that that would treat this entire over 3,000 acres? They got to be stashing it somewhere. Salt now, do they have chemicals? They're just different appropriations of salt. <laughs> <laughs> Kids eat this in their cereal. Come on, guys. This stuff makes you strong. You want a super huge penis, GMO all the way. <laughs> yeah, even if you're a woman, though, that's the problem. Even if you're a woman, I'm sorry, there's some side effects. <laughs> there's some know, side effects. May include large penises on women, but... Hey, were you in the Kalo Culture documentary? Um, yep, yep. Are you the guy? Um, yep, this, uh... Daniel Anthony. Hey, my name... Brother. I'm, my name's Doug. Mikey. I came to talk to you, Mikey. I'm down over here, so right before on. we go, I like at least exchange uh, information. Yeah, yeah. Because actually, you know who I recognize this. Her, she's in it, huh? Uh huh. This is a right there. I saw the cut, um, uh, come well advanced. And yeah. um, we like hang out sometimes. So they showed me like the the current uh, yeah, the cut. Current yeah, it was time. so good. I'm waiting for that to come out. That's going to be so great for people to see, you know? It's just so cool. Yeah, we've been kind of. So we've been kind of getting a lot of help from a lot of different people and just doing what they do. So yeah, that's great, fun. man. What What do you think about uh, this demo and and Dupont thing? Do you live around here in this area, or what? You know, the fish I eat swim in the ocean. The ocean all connected over here. 
the air I breathe, the wind, the wind over here connect to the wind of Kaneohe, connect to the wind of Waianae. The kids, the kids of Wailua play with the kids of Oahu, you know. So it's over here connected to me. Yeah, it's connected. I think if you look down on your feet and you're on this island and it's connected to you. And, you know, we're talking about future and sustainability. So I just get more questions. But just like brother said, where to keep the chemicals, what kind of chemicals, how many pounds. I want to know the tonnage of chemicals being sprayed on the land, you know, for 3,000 acres. Like to see some independent tests, that's what we need to test for, so that when your kid gets sick, because your kid going to get sick, whether your kid live here or live around here or live on an island, and when your kid gets sick, at least when you go to doctor, you get a few chemicals that you can test against, you know. Maybe your kid drink the, you know, something that come from this area, you know. We can always talk about going local. Well, what happens when the local reservoirs are polluted? How good does that make local? You know, and it even even polluted, you know, what does it mean? Because we go and we talk to talk to the the, the, the CEOs, and they don't even eat these foods. These foods are not made for human consumption. That's right. That's so right. if you think that federal guidelines are protecting your not for human consumption food, you better read those guidelines. Because not for human consumption food is basically unregulated. So, you know, hey Monsanto, you can grow food over here at Dupont, you can grow food over here. You can grow food that people can grow eat. Grow food that people can eat. And I'm saying that people be proud to eat. The right. children would relish eating. Don't grow shit and call it not for human consumption so you can chemically spray the land. You know, Aina Mona, what is that? It's about good dirt, not about dead dirt. So, yep, that's my thoughts about this place. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And waiting for the documentary called Kalo Culture that will be out very soon. At Mama so Key's cooking for... show, we're doing Pa'iai pizza and Pa'iai cinnamon. You can't have Pa'iai with GMO Kalo. Right. I won't it. <laughs> Alright, good. Thank you. Mahalo. How are you doing? My name's Daniel. I'll walk around and see if we can talk to some people. I'm not going to stay online too long. So we're expecting people to come and go through the afternoon. One of the attractions, if you come down, and we're right at the Wailua High School, we have a huge enlargement of the area from the air. It just shows the extent of, um, of the uh, GMO patches, you know, where exactly where we're standing was the center. I'll ask you while we're online. Tell me what bring what who you are and what brings you out here. I'm Claudia and I'm Let me show your side. What brings you out here? Well, dangerous GMOs. Sick of them. Our food being poisoned, our land being poisoned, our water and all the people around here. on the internet want to say something. Why are you wearing pants? Because they're spraying toxic chemicals out here and I don't want to take a risk. Did I say that right? You did. You did. It's alright. You know, I... Um, tell me why you're here, man. Let me, let me show your, let me show your sign. This is... Moms for Safe Food, not GMO. And uh, tell me why you're here specifically. We're in front of uh, DuPont uh, Pioneer Hybrid uh, gate to their 3,200 uh, acres of 
property. What's what's the deal? What's going on behind this? They're growing genetically modified organisms, experimental crops, um, and they're using all kinds of chemicals on top of their GMOs. And I believe they're um, polluting the environment and polluting our food supply with their stuff. And um, I'm opposed to having them in our food. I buy primarily organic, but I got involved because we can't buy pure organic anymore. They're cross-pollinating with our pure crop, and I don't want to feed my children uh, GMOs. And your name, if you want to give it? Misco. Thank you. Oh, here's a nice sign. Here, let me zoom in on it because it's got the biohazard and, and skull on it. That's really cool. How do I get one of those? Um, well, is it somebody's stencil? Yeah, Jake had the stencil and, and I made it uh, earlier today. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm Tell me why you're here. wire at the top, but as you can see, it's facing to keep us out. We're not in prison. <laughs> it kind of had that look to it. Huh? Yeah, it does not. And this is uh, Waialua High School in Waialua. I don't think I've ever been here at this spot before. It's really nice. Uh, it's a bit hot and sunny, but come down. We're going to be here all afternoon. Uh, probably people coming and going uh, right past, we're right actually the gate is right here past the uh, Wailua High that's a nice fruit tree right across the street, what is that, Jabong? yeah, Jabong, wow okay, recess oh, <laughs> Uh, this protest is coordinated um, coalition of groups um, GMO Free Oahu De Occupy Honolulu that's the banner there there will be a very large demo nationwide September 17th against Monsanto uh, in the Occupy movement, it's called Occupy Monsanto. But you know, the Occupy movement is not a—it's not a membership organization. So you know, it doesn't doesn't mean you got to join anything. To do. You just show up, and that's that's the cool thing. You can show up with a sign. This is pretty good. This is the one that has the. Impact. Let me get on this side so I can get the light on it. <laughs> This is a biohazard sign with a skull. That is so cool. That's that's a, what are your stencils? Or? Uh, yeah, I, I took it from Occupy Montana's site, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. With the skull, the whole skull thing, it just adds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so much. It's that spot, you know, it really lets us know. Now, tell me who you are, why you're here. Well, I'm Jake, and I'm sick of eating poison, and watching all my friends eat poison. And the saddest thing is that it's subsidized by the government, so it makes it super gross. And that I'm doing it, even though it shouldn't really. In reality, it's more expensive, but because the subsidies are there and the government's paying for it, it makes it cheaper for the farmers to grow it. So then they grow all this poison food. Are just less for it, so it makes it seem like the, you know conventional GMOs and pesticides is the way to go. You know financially, would really it's, it's hurting not only the the financial part of it right there, but it's also hurting the environment and the people. And I will tell you, buying organic right now is way less expensive than cancer in the future. That's so, an interesting way of calculating the cost-benefit ratio. Yeah. 
And then those subsidies that the uh, GMO corporations get, of course, those come from our pocket if they're uh, government subsidies. Exactly. So really, it's when, when it says the government's paying for it and makes it cheaper for us, it's really just us paying for it anyway. That's right. Even if I buy organic, I'm paying for you to eat poison, you know, <laughs> essentially. Right. And so that's, that's my right, Dan. That's my money. That's your money. That's hard-earned cash that we work for. And if we, I guess we have to give it to the government for taxes, at least put it towards something we want. That's right. You know, I don't think that's too much to ask. So. Thank you, Jake. Absolutely. I might I might come back and talk to you later. Anytime. All right. right. Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm getting uh, that there is a lot of uh, wind interference in the audio. This is uh, kind of me and my iPhone uh, kind of production. And I haven't figured that out yet. I have a Bluetooth microphone for interviews, but I can't do that while live streaming. So. I might do some interviews. Uh, tape them and then I'll do them later. This area goes right past the high school. And right next to the high school, right next to the residences, right next to the church, across the uh, way there. In the back, you can see the fence. Private road, no trespassing. That's DuPont Pioneer Hybrid. <coughs> One of the big multinational GMO giant corporations uh, that love Hawaii because it's far away from their corporate headquarters. And they won't get poisoned, we will. Uh, demonstration, rally, protest, if you will, uh, brought to you by GMO Free Oahu and uh, the Occupy Honolulu, among others, and just independent people just showing up, want to be here. There was uh, Daniel Anthony, Daniel Manaai Anthony. Looking at my social stream now on the uh, your stream, I'll stay here a little little while. If there's something you want me to ask somebody or something you want to see, send it out on the Ustream social stream, Twitter. That that. Photo is just a high point. I wish people oh, yeah. were here just to see that. So. Yeah, that's just amazing. Crazy. And it's if you see this, this guy zoomed in on Google Maps, took a picture. He took like 12 screenshots and put this whole thing put together. together. That's amazing. We're right, we're right there in that blue section where it says Wailua High School. That's where that's us. And if you can see this red area, actually, I zoom back. We are actually right around here on the corner of that blue. Right. And then right here is the driveway, right down over there to um, into uh, Pioneer's um, main like office. Right. So it drives in there, but all this red around it, that's all of their GMO uh, crops. That's yeah. all their fields. I mean, obviously that's you can't grow in the mountains, but they both, you know, they own it. They own it. That's just amazing. And then here's like another little isolated crop here. Yep. And you can see like residences right across the street or between uh, between their their fields. Um, right here, the blue is the high school we're standing on. That green is just a bunch of local residents. And all surrounding all that is, uh, are these fields where presumably they're using uh, the insecticides and uh, the pesticides and herbicides that they are uh, test <coughs> chemicals too that aren't necessarily you know Roundup or Atazine or anything like that. Test stuff, yeah. right, right, right. And 
so uh, a lot of people have uh, uh, in this area have been talking about uh, uh, the societal drift. So they stuff that uh, when it rains, it'll get into the gutters and stuff and then run off to right. the water supplies. The water supply and the ocean where people fish. We're actually, if you don't know the area, we're very close to the uh, close to the ocean. We're on the north shore of Oahu, the famous north shore. Actually, near Hawaii. Yeah, I think there's a well. But the well is surrounded by GMOs, GMO fields, so... It's all going into the water. Exactly. It's all going into the water table now. You guys might be too young, but like the uh, pineapple industry was using a uh, insecticide called uh, Heptachlor. Water supply now, so certain wells they have to uh, treat it in order to get that stuff out. Well, the definitely area. gets into the. Uh, it's actually uh, quite a little Well, let's see. see. It might have so been right 20, right 30 years ago, maybe. Not in there. Oh, and it's still a problem today. So they have to. Certain wells they have to monitor. They can't take water out of certain wells. And other wells they have to treat the well well. Let me ask you why you're here and why you have a mask on and who you are and um, if you want to say anything. <laughs> well, my name is Olivia. I'm born and raised on the island of Oahu. Um, I am here to help bring awareness to the fact that we have many, uh, we have large amounts of land. This is my GMO free frisbee. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, to help bring awareness to the fact that we have there's vast amounts of land that are being used uh, to grow uh, genetically modified organisms, which um, sorry, which uh, uh, mutate our, our DNA, um, cause organ failure, um, will help you uh, create cancer, of course. Um, and these are foods that are that they are uh, that a lot of many of us are consuming. Nearly all. Um, Especially processed foods have at least one GMO ingredient in it, especially if it doesn't state that if they have non-GMO ingredients. Um, what else? I was surprised to find how much stuff, how much it's in. I mean, it's in everything practically. Pretty much. Oh, and nearly all corn on earth is uh, genetically modified. Um, uh, much of the soy. Um, I'm not sure about the peanuts, but um, usually things that are being mass produced are being genetically modified. Um, they're starting to genetically modify sunflowers. Oh my. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, my friend here might just. <clears throat> what I'll else? Go, I'll go ask him. Yeah. In a sec. Um, <clears throat> but it, it is absolutely anti life. Uh, what is being done uh, is to control uh, anything to destroy our food and thus destroy us um, or break us down. Just like our fluorided water, which makes people very docile, uh, goes straight to the pineal gland. Uh, the mercury in our uh, silver amogram filling goes straight to the pineal gland and toxifies the brain. So we're being toxified in our food, in our mouths, our toothpaste. Um, woo! Cockroach. Um, I didn't smash it, <laughs> by oh, the way, I just kicked it off. <laughs> I'm just flying away happily. Um, what, what was I talking about? Uh, we're basically being poisoned. Um, Sorry. That's my, my sign keeps... Being poisoned in, uh, in every angle, um, and very heavily in our food. Um, I don't know, I could go on and on and on. <laughs> you know anything about GMO mosquitoes? I'm getting some somebody asking from uh, OWS Maui, Occupy Wall Street Maui. You know anything about... I've heard about... Uh, the only thing I've heard about mosquitoes was that in Florida they were going to release um, uh, mosquitoes that are carrying some sort of virus. That's not the only thing that I've heard, but I haven't heard about... Okay, what I'll do is I'll, I'll ask other people. If, okay. See if they know anything. Yeah, I can look into that. Right? Yeah, yeah. Just Whoever you know is watching this, I highly suggest uh, always researching everything. Research Cannot everything. Believe, uh, anything, no matter how much sense it makes or a sense it doesn't make.
right? We don't want to pass on unreliable info, right? Right. And uh, we're, we're responsible. Uh, it's just many of us aren't taking that responsibility. And we need to inform ourselves. Um, we're very uninformed. The, the news stations will not inform us. Right. About what is really wrong. Right. we got to be our own media, so we have to be responsible. Yes. Great. Well, Mike, good talking to you. I'll, I'll, I'll you, be back. Friend. I'm just walking around <laughs> here. Thank you. <laughs> I put my sign down. I put my sign down so I could. I'm gonna stay here for a little while. We're here the whole afternoon. We're at the. We're at uh, really on the corner of uh, at Wailua High School in Wailua on the north shore of Oahu. For a long time, an agricultural community, uh, sugar plantations, I think, in the old days. Still agricultural, but we're at the gate of uh, DuPont Pioneer Hybrid GMO field. From the people that brought you napalm. They're a chemical company, so they're not an agricultural company. I'm going to zoom in here. We can see signs being made. That's pretty cool, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, remember I use it for, uh, it's been in the metal detector at the, at the HPD. <laughs> uh, it's also been uh, in the city council chambers for six hours. Now it's here for this. This is the third action for this sign. That's great. Tulsi Gabbard had to look at it for about six hours before she was on. <laughs> that, buddy? that was my problem. We're going to miss you, Tulsi. Look. Well, the thing is, Tulsi, you know, she had a record of being, in fact, her family has a record of being against uh, GMOs. So, well, well, I guess. Fortunately or unfortunately, we'll get a chance to find out because it looks like she is headed to no, Congress. It's still a long way before the election. All kinds of things can happen between now and then. No, that's true. There, in fact, there is a uh, Mayan apocalypse schedule before. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know. Who would have thought? You're an optimist. truck coming out of the area. There's some family farms back there too, so we don't assume all the trucks coming out of there are are the and <laughs> obligatory shot of uh, Mike Brody taking photos, taking a photo of Doug taking a photo. I knew I was in Portugal. <laughs> and a sign that says, "Do what is right. Live Pono, no GMOs." That's right. Tell me why you're here and what's up with the sign. And if you want to tell people something, we're live on the internet. Well, I, I'm here to help uh, raise awareness and to hopefully uh, make a domino effect of change for other people and to help support the people that have put a lot of energy and effort, the good people who uh, help try to mend this world. I, I'm an organic farmer, and uh, without real food, without real help, then the, then the world will come and to do to the corporations. We have to get past that mental uh, separation between us and the earth and, and live Pono and do what is right and all ways of life from making from, from earning a, a wage to teaching our children we have to do what is Pono and no GMO that is Pono you say you are an uh, organic farmer is it around here or uh, yes it is yes it is in uh, no, a Wahiwa area Wahiwa okay. yeah, I'm very fortunate to, uh, to have that opportunity in my life absolutely and to help try to to help share you know share that what it is well, thanks uh, for coming out here and helping uh, 
bring awareness to the people out here. That My pleasure. My and pleasure. also put uh, DuPont on notice that people know <laughs> and we're willing to do something, <laughs> right. including standing out in the hot sun in the middle exactly, of the day. Exactly, yeah. We could, it's Hawaii. We could, go on, we could go to the beach or work, or work on the farms, but That's right. we chose to come here today. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Mahalo. Hi, sister. Great. road that goes up to the um, goes up to the uh, DuPont area just so people know I'm going to walk across so people get a better idea it's, you see the beautiful area right in back uh, DuPont property goes up to most of those ridge lines I think So that's the private road. It goes up to uh, DuPont. DuPont Pioneer Hybrid. Three thousand, more than three thousand acres back there. That building is uh, Wild Hill High School. So the fields are right next to um, the school, to this church. And as you can see, as I pan around, this is a um, residential area. There's a strong wind blowing, um, so if there is uh, dust in the air, pesticides, herbicides, well, we're getting a dose of it. There is a lawsuit against on Pioneer Hybrid on Kauai for um, the uh, health effects, ill health effects of wind-blown chemicals. One of the questions that's come up is where are those chemicals stored? And we can assume that there are all kinds of chemicals, experimental chemicals, because this is an, also an experiment station. Experimental chemicals uh, of unknown type, unknown health effects being stored on property. And really the question too is, well, do they have to be stored here? Because they could very well be stored off their property and in one of your neighborhoods oh I was very densely populated a lot of it is uh, within very close proximity in fact all of it practically is in close proximity to residences there are probably 800,000 people on this island alone carries most of the population of Hawaii on this island. See some people... Uh, let me get a picture of this. Harmful chemical pesticides next to schools hurts kids in Hawaii. Absolutely, that seems to make sense. Why did they build this next to the school? What is the deal? Let me let me ask you why you're here and uh, any words for us? We're live on the internet right now. Um, hi, I'm Sky. Um, I think that, I mean, it's a complicated issue. It has a lot to do with the history of agriculture in this area, why they would say kids were historically the descendants of agricultural laborers next to an area where they have a lot of negligence for the communities that they work in, for children, for the health and safety of the community, the environment, just basic human life. They have no respect for life at all. They're tinkering with genetics in ways that have not been proven. They're using 
powerful chemical pesticides that cause cancer and illnesses right next to schools. They don't care if kids get sick. That's the bottom line. All they care about is making a profit. Thank you. Thank you for that. We're getting a lot of uh, support from other places. Maui sends support. I'm, I'm getting a question here about do we know uh, what the 3,000 acres grow? If it's for seed or harvest, and is any of the land leased from other landowners? I, I believe a lot of it is from Kamehameha Schools. I'm going to look for Mikey and see if he knows. Oh, he's across the street. Maybe I'll walk across the street. And Hey Mike, I have a question from uh, Maui, I think. Yeah, that's all right. Says, do we know what the 3,000 acres grow? Is it for seed or harvest? Most of it is for corn seed. Corn um, seed. They're also growing canola, is the majority of it. Um, if you look at the map, there's a lot of it that actually isn't being used. There's a 500 acre lot toward, in that direction that's nothing but mountain. So it makes yeah. you wonder, why is Pioneer buying a 500 acre lot of mountain? Right. Are they ex thinking about expanding out there? That's a good <laughs> question. Do we know who they lease the land from? Is this one of the lands leased from Kamehameha School? No, I believe it's Castle and Cook, who I hear is, has ties to Dole. Uh, so it, it's right. that circle that's leasing this land. Okay, and Castle and Cook, they were one of the big five mm -hmm. uh, land barons yep. from the original theft of right. Hawaiian lands. In the, right. Okay, great. That answers that. That's great. Thanks, Mike. Yep, you're welcome. I knew I was asking the right guy. <laughs> As we can see, people have been coming and going. I'm going to walk back across here. <laughs> and mahalo to you. Sometimes I get to pay attention to the uh, comments in the stream coming in. I know we have uh, another event scheduled later. I might cut away to save uh, battery. And uh, I will tweet out at HDoug. we got more stuff coming up. Cut away for now. Thanks for joining us. If you follow at HDoug on Twitter or HDoug Matsuoka on Facebook, I will announce. And of course, regardless of what happens, if there's anything exciting uh, happening or any uh, documentation with, say, the police or employees um, of uh, DuPont, then I'll go live uh, when that happens. You know, who I'm looking for is Cindy Goldstein, Goldstein, who is the lobbyist uh, for DuPont that always shows up at things like neighborhood board meetings and public hearings posing as a scientist from the community. So, I haven't seen her. You know, there's a possibility that since she's just a lobbyist, she just works downtown and really has no contact with this area. I try and avoid it, you know. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to cut away. I'll be back uh, later on. Thanks for joining us.